Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up the NVIDIA drivers on Ubuntu. This is needed for programs like DaVinci Resolve which don't work with the open source NVIDIA driver and also with OBS Studio so that you can use the NVIDIA NVENC encoder. So first of all what I'm going to do is just quickly switch across to the terminal and show you that um, if I run NVIDIA SMI we can see that the graphics card is showing up and um, it's connected properly and I can also run sudo nvidia settings and that's going to open the nvidia settings application what I'm going to do is come across and show you how to get this set up so that you can get better performance on your um, Ubuntu machine so Basically, I'm running a Dell XPS 15, which has got a NVIDIA G4, was it GeForce 1650? I think it's called something like that. Um, and I wanted to set up um, DaVinci Resolve, but that requires the NVIDIA, NVIDIA driver and not the open source version. So first of all, what we're going to do is detect the model of your graphics card by running Ubuntu dash drivers devices in the terminal. So Ubuntu drivers devices. And give that a second. And you can see here we've got a GeForce GTX 1650 mobile. And what this will do is by default when you set up Ubuntu, it's going to use the um, Nouveau driver. And what we want to do is use the latest version of the proprietary um, NVIDIA driver. And what we can see by running this command is that it's actually recommending a specific driver for us to install, which is the NVIDIA driver 455. So if we come back across here, what you can then do is um, install the driver two ways. You can um, accept, accept the selection by running sudo ubuntu-drivers auto install and that's going to install the recommended driver or you can specifically install it by uh, using the driver's name which in this case is um, the nvidia driver-455 so obviously I've already got this set up so I'm not going to reinstall it so again from the output of that command from the Ubuntu drivers devices, we can see we want the NVIDIA driver 455. So we'd run sudo apt install NVIDIA driver 455, and that will install the um, latest version of the NVIDIA driver. So after we've done that, what we need to do across we then want to blacklist the nouveau driver and the nova do no nouveau driver is the open source driver that's going to be um, set up by default on ubuntu what we're going to do is create a file in except for modprobe.d called blacklist dash nvidia dash nouveau.conf and in that file we're going to add these two lines blacklist nouveau and options nouveau mode set equals zero. So what I'll do is I'll just switch across to the terminal and um, actually show you that file. So I'm going across here. So uh, less except for mod pro dot d blacklist nouveau nvidia nouveau dot conf. And you can see down here the contents of the file blacklist nouveau options nouveau mode set equals zero. Basically, all you need to do is create that text file. So you'd create the blacklist NVIDIA Nouveau comp file with those two lines and then copy it to etc. modprobe.d. And then after that, what we're going to do is actually um, update init RAM FS. And um, there's a note on the Ubuntu um, website for actually when you manually install the um, the drivers from the NVIDIA site if you have full disk encryption and um, enabled you um, have to update the init RAM FS um, 
so that it actually picks up the changes. So what we do is we um, run this command here, sudo update init ram fs dash u. Um, now after we've done that, terminal, I'll just close that down. We're gonna then reboot the system. So just sudo reboot. After you've rebooted the system, um, you'll then be able to use the NVIDIA dash SMI um, command. So NVIDIA dash SMI. And you can see here that it's actually printing out statistics about the driver and showing that it's um, in operation and is working properly. So that's the first step um, after you've rebooted. Um, check that everything's working. Um, you can then access the NVIDIA settings by running sudo NVIDIA-settings and that brings up the um, GUI for the NVIDIA settings that you can then um, tweak all these options. Thermal settings, power, all that sort of stuff. And you need to open um, the NVIDIA settings um, with sudo so that it can actually um, save the changes to the XOR configuration file. Um, so that will let you then um, tweak the settings and apply them. And the next thing you, you can do is actually you can switch between using your NVIDIA graphics card and your Intel, and your Intel card. So the NVIDIA card is going to um, give you more power. Um, but uh, it's going to drain the battery quicker. Um, so that's something you'd use when you're, you're plugged in and you're doing your work. Um, you can set it to use the NVIDIA graphics card, or if you're going to be mobile, you can actually switch it to use the Intel card so that you get a bit more power. So these are the two commands that you would run um, to switch between the two different cards. You'd run sudo prime select and prime dash select Intel to switch to the Intel card. And then you'd need to reboot and then to switch it back to the nvidia card you'd run sudo prime dash select nvidia and again you'd need to reboot for that to um, take effect so that's going to get you set up with um, the nvidia um, graphics card so i'll just give you a quick recap again so first of all what you do is you check the devices and this will um, list your graphics card and um, tell you what the recommended driver is and we do that by running ubuntu-drivers-devices um, after we've done that we then install the driver either by running sudo ubuntu-drivers auto install to accept the recommendation or we can specifically install um, the card by using the um, card's name for example, sudo apt install NVIDIA dash driver dash 455, uh, which is the um, latest driver um, and is working on my Dell XPS 15. So once we've installed the driver, what we then did was we blacklisted the Nouveau driver, which is the open source NVIDIA driver. And we did that by creating a text file called blacklist dash NVIDIA dash Nouveau.conf added these two lines to it blacklist nouveau options nouveau motor equals zero and we then save that to accept a mod probe so that the final path would be accept a mod probe dash um, dot d um, slash blacklist dash nvidia dash nouveau dot conf that creates the blacklist um, so that it um, doesn't use that driver we then um, updated the init ramfs by running sudo update dash init ramfs dash u. After we've done that, we rebooted the system. Once it rebooted, we could then run the NVIDIA dash SMI command, which will actually um, show that the driver is working properly and in operation. And then after that, again, we could open the NVIDIA settings by running sudo NVIDIA dash settings um, to make any changes we want and have them saved to the XOR configuration file. And then finally, we can switch between the two graphics cards 
by either running sudo prime dash select intel and rebooting to switch to the intel card or sudo prime dash select nvidia um, to switch to the nvidia card after rebooting uh, now the other thing that i'm going to come across and um, show you here is um, obs studios let me just hide the preview there so in obs studio after you've set up the um, nvidia card and got it working if you come across to the settings and then output and we're then going to go to the recording tab you can now see that i have an option for the nvidia nvenc h264 encoder which i didn't previously have um, with the nouveau driver so you don't get the nvidia nvenc um, encoder unless you've actually set up the nvidia graphics card using the proprietary drivers it doesn't show up with the open source nouveau driver so this should provide a bit more um, horsepower a bit more ram and um, these are the recommended settings that um, i'm using i think i got them from the nvidia site um, basically what i did was set the recording to type standard um, set the recording path um, generate file names without spaces because we're on linux and uh, we set the recording format to mkv one audio track nvidia mvenc h264 uh, we've got it set to 1920 by 1080 so it's 1080p and we've got the rate control set to cqp um, and we have a CQ level of 20. I think the default is about 15. So 20 is a, a high level, so we'll get some good quality. And it suggests leaving the keyframes either at zero or two. And we've got the preset to quality and the profile to high, and that's the um, H.264 profile, I believe. And um, the GPU set to zero and max B frame set to two. Um, if you've got more, um, uh, CPU and um, GPUs or CPUs, whatever you can change the the actual settings. But these were the settings that were um, mentioned on the Nvidia site. And again, you don't by default um, if you haven't set up your Nvidia card and you're just using the Nouveau driver, you won't get the Nvidia Nvenc encoder showing up. It only shows up after you've actually set up the graphics card and rebooted. And then once you've done that in OBS Studio, you can go to the output recording and then select the NVIDIA MVENC encoder um, in OBS Studio. So that's basically one of the reasons um, why you might want to set up the um, NVIDIA graphics card using the proprietary driver because it will allow you to um, access the NVIDIA MVENC encoder in OBS Studio, but also um, DaVinci Resolve, uh, which is a video editor which works on Linux, actually requires you to use the NVIDIA driver. It doesn't seem to work with the open source Nouveau driver. So you need to set up the NVIDIA driver um, on, on your machine or um, but DaVinci Resolve to work. Um, so that's a quick uh, rundown of setting up the drivers again so you then have video SMI shows that everything's connected sudo video settings and we've got the nice GUI settings here so we can play around with all the um, options for our graphics card and we'll just quit that there so that, those are the um, simple steps um, to get the NVIDIA graphics card working on your machine and as I said I'm running a um, I'm running Ubuntu 2004 on a 2019 Dell XPS um, which has got the NVIDIA graphics card and um, 16 gig of RAM and about a terabyte of SSD storage <coughs> excuse me and um, it's working much better with the recommended um, with the NVIDIA driver set up one thing I shouldn't mention is that um, I set up RetroArch using Flatpak um, to pay um, SNES games and it was working perfectly um, with the Nouveau driver but now that I've switched to the NVIDIA driver um, RetroArch 
installed using flat packs and not launching for me it just flashes flashes a little black screen and then goes away so there's obviously an issue with getting the nvidia drivers working with um retroarch installed using flat pack and that's probably um the video driver that's um used in the configuration or something or other but i haven't actually figured that out yet so i'll have to have a look at that and um see what the issue is there but um, that's the only program i've actually come across that have, have um, got any issues using the nvidia driver um, everything else is working fine no tearing no screen issues no flickering nothing like that um, so this is how you can get the nvidia driver set up um, get it working with obs studio so you have the nvidia mvenc encoder available and also this will allow you to then install DaVinci Resolve so you have a professional video editor um, running on Linux. So that's just a quick setup on um, the NVIDIA drivers on Ubuntu. And I said the only issue I've had is actually with RetroArch installed with Flatpak, not detecting the um, NVIDIA drivers and um, basically not working. But apart from that, um, I haven't had any issues. And... Um, as I say, the advantage is it's going to let you use the NVENC encoder with OBS Studio and um, set up um, DaVinci Resolve so that you've got a good editing suite on Linux for um, screen recording and editing as well.